Hi, I'm Suzette Tagg. I'm a professional wellness coach in training with the International Association of Wellness Professionals. I'm also the co-founder of Libratum, providers of corporate wellness solutions. Are you feeling stressed and overwhelmed? Do you wake up each day feeling anxious about the day ahead? Do you ever feel like you're trapped in a situation that you can't escape from? Maybe you're feeling resentful because the cause of your stress is down to someone else and you just can't make them stop doing what they're doing or start doing things differently. Maybe you're experiencing a loss or you're going through a relationship breakup and you just don't know how you're going to get through it. Sometimes it's just the daily humdrum of everyday life and the endless to-do lists and responsibilities without being able to take a break can be the cause of our stress. Or maybe you're stuck in a job or a career that you no longer feel passionate about. So whatever the cause of your stress, I'm here to tell you that there is something that you can do about it. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a practical stress busting approach that you can apply that will help you gain control over your stress levels so that you can move forward and go beyond what's holding you back. Whether your stress is caused by something that's happening to you, it's coming out of left field and you're having to deal with it and respond to it, or whether it's of your own making, maybe because you've overcommitted yourself and you've said yes too many times when really you wanted to say no. Then here's how you can change the game from being in a state of constant high stress to a place of calm, centered awareness and control. So let's begin. I'd like you to imagine that your body is a vessel and it's 100% full of energy, ready and waiting to invest in dealing with the cause of your stress. No more, no less. Our energy is highly valuable resource to us. So let's consider how we use it. Every drop we lose or give away means that we have less energy to spend on what we really want. So as you now think about your stress, I want you to ask yourself this question. Is the cause of my stress something that is within my control to change? Now let's think about that for a moment. If you answered yes to that question, then it's good news. It means that there is something you can do about it. We're not trapped and we can focus our energy on taking action to move ourselves forward. Sometimes just knowing that we are in control and that we can change our situation can be very empowering. Now, if our stress is caused by something that is happening to us, we might not be able to control the cause of the stress itself. But ask yourself, what can you control? Can you control how you respond and deal with that stress? And again, if the answer is yes, it's good news. Where we have control over our stress and the way that we respond to stress, this is where we should invest most of the energy from our vessel. By investing as much as 80% of your energy here, it can make all the difference to your situation. Use this energy to explore ideas, speak to loved ones and get their support, explore possible options that might be open to you Listen and learn stress-busting tips and strategies that can help put you in a place of control and move you out of your stressful situation. Now, what if your answer to my question is no, I don't have control of, my, of the cause of my stress because maybe, for example, we just need someone else to change and they can't or they won't change. Or maybe we want a situation to change and we're relying on someone else to take action or responsibility. In this situation, ask yourself, if the cause of my stress is beyond my control, can I influence what's happening? Again, if the answer to this question is yes, it's good news. It means we can potentially influence the course of events, and it also means there's an opportunity for us to change the situation. Now, unfortunately, we tend to get stuck here and we spend an awful lot of energy trying to change things that we can't change or trying to get someone else to change. 
So although we can influence things, remember that there's no guarantee that anything will change or go the way that we want it to. We need to remember that the control ultimately rests in the hands of someone else or even in the hands of the universe. So when something is not entirely within our control, we should try to limit how much energy we invest in it because there's only so much that we can do. So here we can invest the remaining 20% of our energy, but no more because the rest of our energy is already focused on what we can control. So by now, you've probably realized that we've invested all the energy in our vessel, in what we can control and what we can influence. Well, we have no more energy left to spend. So what happens when something is completely beyond our control? So as we have no energy left to spend, instead of running on empty and depleting ourselves, we can find peace through acceptance and letting go rather than resisting or trying to control things. If the cause of our stress is not something you can do anything about, then there's very little to be gained in trying to fix it or change it. Instead, focus only on what you can do, what is within your control and what you can influence. So let's recap on the key takeaways from today's video. Once you've identified the cause of your stress, Number one, ask yourself this question. Is it within my control? Is it out of my control? Or can I influence it? Number two, focus 80% of your energy only on what is completely within your control and 20% of your energy on what you can influence. No more, no less. If the cause of your stress is outside of your control, then know that peace can be found through acceptance and letting go. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, then check out the next of, the vi of my video series on the IAWP channel. In the next video, I'll be talking about what happens inside the body when we experience stress and what you can do to begin the healing process. Thank you for watching. Hi there. If you enjoyed my video today, then please feel free to share it with your friends or anyone that may get value from this. I invite you to follow me on Instagram at suzettetag underscore labratum or visit my website at labratumlifecoach.com. If you're interested in becoming a professional wellness coach, then you can download the free wellness coach career kit. The link is appearing on the screen now. Thank you for watching.